Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, September 14th, will the clerk please call the roll. Good morning everyone. It is now 11 a.m. Calling the roll for the Monday, September 14th Board of Control meeting, we have Nan Baker. Here. Dale Miller. Here. Trevor McAleer, serving as an alternate for Dan Brady. Here. Nicole English, serving as an alternate for Mike Dever. Here. Mike Chambers, serving as an alternate for Armin Budish. Here. Lee Tucker, serving as an alternate for the fiscal officer. Here. And Lenora Lockett. Here. We have a quorum. Okay. Uh, at this time, unless I hear otherwise from uh, any of the board members, I am going to make a motion to approve the minutes from September 8th. Do I have a second? Second, this is Dale. Seconded by Councilman Miller. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved. Uh, public comment. Do we have anyone from the public that wishes to speak at this time? Once, twice, no public comment. Moving on to contracts and awards. Moving on to new items for review. The first item is BC 2020-522, Department of Public Safety and Justice Services, recommending an award on a purchase order to Scana MSC Inc. in the amount not to exceed $55,682. And it's for the purchase of two portable X-ray image processors and related accessories and two laptops for the Lake County Bomb Squad. Good morning, this is Mary Beth from Public Safety, and this is replacing equipment that is over 10 years old and no longer supported by the manufacturer. It was competitively bid. We received two responses and are making it a recommendation to award to the lowest cost vendor, and Ohio EMA has approved the award. Okay, thank you, Mary Beth. Are there any questions from the board on this item? Okay, hearing none, I will make a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Dale Miller, second. Seconded by Councilman Miller. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item approved. Next item. The next item is a two-part item, item number BC 2020-523, Department of Public Safety and Justice Services. A, requesting authority to submit a grant application to State of Ohio, Department of Public Safety, Ohio Emergency Management Agency. And it's in the amount of um, $120,000 for mitigation activities and technical assistance. And it's in connection with the fiscal year 2020 Hazard Mitigation Grant Program. And it's for the period January 10th, 2020 through January 10th, 2022, and B, submitting the grant agreement um, with the state of Ohio in connection with said, <clears throat> excuse me, in connection with said grant application. <clears throat> Good morning, Mary Beth Vaughn again, and this grant is going to be used to hire a consultant to update the county's all hazards mitigation plan. FEMA requires the mitigation plan to be updated every five years to ensure that the county and the communities within the county are eligible for various mitigation grants. The current uh, plan that we have ends in 2022, and that plan was also funded by a grant back in 2015. There is a 25% match for this grant, but as you can see, the state of Ohio has agreed to pick up half of the local match, so the county's match will only be $15,000. Okay, thank you again. Uh, are there any questions from the board on this item? Then I will make a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Dale Miller, second. Seconded by Councilman Miller. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Item approved. Next item. Thank you. Next item, item BC 2020-524, Sheriff's Department, recommending an award on a purchase order to Treasurer, State of Ohio, Ohio State Highway Patrol, in the amount not to exceed $10,400 for law enforcement automated data system, also known as LEADS, subscription services for various time periods. A, for the period November 1st, 2019, in the amount of $800,000, and B, for the period 
January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020 in the amount of $9,600. Morning. This is Mark Banza with the Sheriff's Department. This is an $800 a month fee to leads with the Ohio State Patrol. And as mentioned, November of 2019 was missed. And for 2020, uh, we had to reach out to the vendor because we were not receiving statements. And the leads agency admitted to incorrectly uh, billing us on their end. So we, um, August through uh, I'm sorry, January through August is owed, and we would like to pay 2020 in full, so this does not happen again. Okay, thank you, Mark. Are there questions from the board members? Yes, this is Dale, and my question is whether item A, instead of just having one single day listed, should list something like for the period 11-1-2019 through 11-30-2019. Yes, it was for the whole month of November. Okay, well, I'll move to amend it and, and state that. Okay, I will second that amendment. Um, any other questions on this uh, particular item? Okay, therefore, I will make a motion to approve the item as amended. Do I have a second? Dale Miller, second. Seconded by Councilman Miller. All those in favor say aye. 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 Item approved. Next item. Moving on to exemptions. Item BC 2020-525, Sheriff's Department, requesting authority to amend board approval number BC 2020-323, dated June 8, 2020, which authorized an alternative procurement process resulting in various purchase orders and award recommendations to various providers, and it's for emergency off-site medical services for inmates for the period January 1st, 2017 through December 31st, 2020, to extend the time period to December 31st, 2021, to add various providers effective September 14th, 2020, and for additional funds in the total amount not to exceed $392,000. The additional providers are Alternative Body Connections, Euclid Hospital, Giaga Vision, AT Associates, LLC, UES of Bedford, Lutheran Hospital, Cleveland Clinic, Orthotic Prosthetic Specialties, Sequinome CMM San Diego, Cleveland Clinic Foundation, Case Dental Medi Medicine Support Services, Cleveland Foot and Ankle Clinic, Manuel Garcia Prosthetics, Ohio Emergency Care Services, Premier Physicians Centers, Grady Memorial Hospital, Hastings Home Health Center, Physicians Ambulance Service, Davida and Community Dialysis Center. Stephen Witt with the Sheriff's Department. This is an amendment to a previously approved alternate procurement that will allow for the creation of various purchase orders for outside medical care for county inmates, uh, for additional funds, and to allow for additional vendors to have uh, POs created for them. The idea here is that by including all the vendors that we've done business with in the recent past for medical care, that when Metro sends these inmates to these outside medical facilities, we can process a PO and get these vendors paid quickly so that we have continuity of care and we don't have any vendors coming back and rejecting our inmates, and that way all of our inmates are able to get the medical care that they need. The additional funds in this amendment are only for future invoices uh, effective today. There are no outstanding invoices that are being approved under the amendment. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Um, any, uh, Lenora Lockett first, please. Office of Procurement and Diversity, Lenora Lockett again, thank you. Um, are you gonna come back with the purchase orders for the amounts, because the other vendors have amounts listed on them? Yes, the purchase orders will be brought back to the, uh, through the info process and to the board as that was originally requested by the board control members on the original alternate procurement. The idea of amending this alternate procurement is so that we can avoid having to amend the alternate procurement first for the, adding the vendor and then bringing the PO separately. It will expedite the process a little bit. Okay, thank you. Okay, are there any further questions from our board members? I had one. 
Chairman Van Baker. Sure. Has the uh, list been approved by Metro Health? Is this a list that they gave us or that they want to be using as vendors? Um, have they added any that we may not know about? How have you been communicating with Metro Health? This is a list of vendors that they've used that we've had inmates sent to in the last, I believe, two years. So they, they're in the history of Metro using these vendors. Um, unfortunately, Metro does not know ahead of time uh, in advance of who they're going to end up using. So we had to come up with this list on our own based on our previous history. All right. Is there any conversation to at least show them the list to say these are the vendors we want you or are uh, encouraging you to use because they have... Uh, um, approval? We will provide them this list and say that these are the vendors that we have approval to uh, issue a PO for and use, but again, we cannot dictate how the medical professionals at Metro uh, provide their medical care. We can't, we can't limit them to this. They may have other vendors that they, they use and that's their medical expertise determining that. Sure. I understand that. I just you know, sometimes we, if the, there's a breakdown in communication, they may not know, or maybe they have their own. I would just think you'd know who they like and they know who we recommend, who we've worked with, who they, just a, an acknowledgement, I guess, on both sides as to what has been approved through Board of Control and has the access to birth disorders, that's all. And we're not just guessing, because they've used them in the past, that these are vendors that they would like to use again, and there's no one else that uh, you may not know about that could possibly stop service because we're not aware. I, I don't know. I just think just asking if the communication is open. Uh, we, will, we will certainly uh, work on that communication and make sure that Metro, there are no other vendors that Metro may be using that we don't know about. As far as we're aware in working with our staff that handle the medical billing, these are the vendors that are most likely to be used by Metro because we have had that relationship in the past. But we will certainly reach out to Metro and make sure that we're not missing anybody and that Metro is aware that we have approval for these vendors so that these vendors would be the preferred route so that we can keep service uh, going. Great. Thank you. That's what I'm asking. I appreciate the answer. Thanks. Okay, any further questions from the board? Hearing none, I will make a motion to approve. Do I have a second? I'll second, Ann Baker. Seconded by Councilwoman Baker. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Item approved. Next item. Item BC 2020-526, Sheriff's Department. Requesting authority to amend the board approval number BC 2020-303 dated May 26, 2020, which authorized an alternative procurement process to specify a brand name, which will result in an award recommendation for the purchase of 10 Safari Land Body Armor Ballistic Level 2 Bulletproof Vests for deputies. They're amending this item by changing the amount not to exceed from $8,000 to 8512 Mark Banza again with the Sheriff's Department. Um, when originally doing the original alternate procurement, we were using pricing from years 2018 and 2019 on these items. And we that's how we projected the 8,000 number after competitively bidding this item, the lowest bid came in at 8512. Okay, thank you, Mark. Are there any questions from the board on this item? Okay, hearing none, I will make a motion to approve. Do I have a second? This is Dale, I'll second. Seconded by Councilman Miller. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Item approved. Next item. Moving on to the consent agenda, item numbers BC 2020-527 through 530. If we can take a moment or two and read through them and if anyone has a comment or a question feel free to speak mm -hmm. 
Are there any? This uh, is Steve with the Sheriff's Department. Um, yeah. BC 2020-527 mentions FY 2019 Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant. That should be FY 2020. Okay, got that. Any further questions from the board members on this particular item? Items, okay. Well, hearing none, I will make an approval uh, with the adjustment noted by Stephen, amended. Uh, do I have a second? Trevor, second. Seconded by Mr. McAleer. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the, today's consent agenda has been approved. Moving on. We have uh, no other business at this time. Do we have any public comment? Public comment once, twice, three times. Okay, no public comment. I will then make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Seconded by Lee 